Okay, okay, let's go. Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me, Peter. Now, I'm recording this video that's got my head on it because I just want to introduce the long form process videos that I've just uploaded recently uh, in regards to making a game object, an object for video games from a plasticity mesh. Now, I had a couple of people ask me, can you show the full process when I did a few shorter videos? So this is it. Now, I thought I'd making it quite slick and smooth, but actually showing the full process is great because it shows problem solving, making mistakes, and figuring it out in the long run. Now, in episode one, we'll make a full mesh in plasticity. We'll do some very basic modeling, like very, very basic modeling, and then we'll get into like some really basic surfacing as well. The mesh that we make in plasticity um, is not overly complex. Um, now, in part two, we'll take it into Blender where we'll do some work on the UVs and also optimizing it using a handy plugin that I made and released. Now, feel free to go and download that. It's absolutely free and um, feel free to donate the cost of a coffee if you find it useful. Would absolutely appreciate that and thank you to everybody that has done already. Um, quite a few of you have been um, giving me $2 or $5 or even $10 in one case. You're beautiful. I love you. In episode two, that's what we do. We do the UVs um, and we use another add-on by Armin Deep, which is... Engon Loop Select, which is really handy for um, UVing uh, plasticity exports. And then in episode three, we finally go through to, uh, well, in, between episode two and three, we bake our maps in Marmoset. And then we finally go through to Substance Painter, where we build up a procedural uh base texture and then we paint in our details and we get all of the dust and scratches and everything like that to make it realistic and um, I'm really happy with the end results and I hope you enjoy the tutorials like I said it's the full process if I make a mistake I go back and I figure out what the mistake is and then I fix it and that could be helpful to some beginners to sort of see how somebody else problem solves things as well. Um, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoy the series and I'll see you later. 